I was late getting out this video, but in doing so, I think I might have found a solution to procrastination. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Impact to Infinity. My name is Anson Sad, and I'm a growth mindset and public speaking coach. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content because we're here to help you grow your mindset, help you speak powerfully and impact to infinity. Now this week, this video was a few days late and I kind of thought to myself, oh no, here we go again. It's procrastination time. I've delayed it again, but it's been a real blessing in disguise and I want to share with you a possible crack in the code to overcome procrastination forever. Now, I know this is a really huge and bold statement, but when you think about it, what are the reasons behind procrastination? Now, if you clicked on this video, I'm pretty sure that you'd like to find out too what are some ways to overcome procrastination? Because no one likes that feeling. You know that feeling when you kind of put something off and you're doing something else, but then something in the back of your mind is like tapping on the window or knocking on your door. Hey, you got something bigger to fry. You got some important things to do. What are you doing on YouTube? What are you doing that you're not really supposed to do? And so in my case, it was doing this video. When I was jotting down some notes to do another topic, it kind of occurred to me, why am I procrastinating? What are the reasons behind delaying the things that I need to do? Now, I've watched videos like Tim Urban, and he has a great video, a TED talk about his experience with procrastination. But the thing I find is that it's a little lacking on the solutions. You see, Tim Urban says that you should have a vision. You should have goals. You should have a big vision about what your life should look like and that your time on earth is limited. So better make the most of it. Now I've tried that myself, but I kind of find that procrastination still claws its way in. But this time, when I think about why I procrastinate, I think I've kind of unlocked something and I wanna share that with you right now. So the first thing you wanna ask yourself is why procrastinate? Why would you want to delay things or think about something else instead of the task that's right in front of you? And for me, that is the fear that I won't have any free time. So this has gone on since I was a kid. And I'll admit, I would play and just do other things. And then when it comes to the task, I'll do it at the last minute or I'll make some excuse and I'll buy some time, even though it's past the deadline. So knowing that really did change things over the past few days. And I thought, well, of course, it's really simple. Just do the important things and then play later. But it's the underlying fear that I won't have that free time. So I kind of dug deeper and I asked myself, okay, so how would I get over this fear that there's no free time? And the underlying fear is that after I would finish an important task, there would be more work to be done. And so it's not really the ability to get things done or manage my time well. It is, get this, the ability to say no to work after I finish the important tasks. And that was a huge thing for me because after I finish a task and I don't reward myself, with free time or just time to myself or time with friends or family, 
I have this underlying fear that it is endless. The work is endless. So this was a huge breakthrough for me. There's no wonder why I don't want to finish the task. I want to delay it right to the very end because there's no way there'd be more on my plate because it would probably be the end of the day or right before the deadline. So having thought of that, I kind of think about Tim Ferriss. He has the book, The 4-Hour Workweek and all these books about how he has so much free time. Instead of thinking I don't have free time, I should think about how much free time I would have after finishing the important task. I know what you're thinking. It's so simple. But then again, some of the best solutions are the simplest solutions. A lot of coaches like to have participants go through the 10 steps or the 15 steps or the 20 steps and five day course or one week course. But in reality, it's really that simple. Just finish the important work first and then you'll have as much free time as possible. The key is to say no to extra work so that you're actually rewarding yourself for completing the tasks that you had at hand. So it is a huge epiphany for me. So change your mindset that instead of having a lack of free time or a lack of the freedom to do what you want to do, think about the abundance of free time and the abundance of freedom to do whatever you want to do. So the big epiphany I want to share with you again, and I'll conclude right here, is that to overcome procrastination is to flip the script and to change the way you think about your tasks. Instead of thinking about a lack of free time and a lack of freedom to do what you want to do, think about the freedom that you might have after finishing the task, the freedom to do whatever you want, the free time to learn new things, do your hobbies, or spend time with friends and family. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really got a lot. I hope you get a huge breakthrough and never procrastinate again because we are here to learn and grow. And in order to do that, we got to have free time. So I hope that you will work efficiently and produce a lot, but also to have the free time to learn and grow and to watch future videos. So please click the like and subscribe button and leave your comments below. What do you think about procrastination? Do you think this solution is going to help you? And if it did, it would thrill me if you would leave your comments below. So thanks again for watching Impact to Infinity. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. This is Coach Anson. See you next time.